Year 298, Westeros, realm of the Seven Kingdoms. The world has changed. The ancient Targaryen line of kings had its fire extinguished after reigning over the Seven Kingdoms for many centuries. Robert Baratheon's rebellion unified most of the realm's great houses under a single banner, thus bringing about the fall of the Targaryens. Thus, 15 years ago, he acceded to the Iron Throne, becoming Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Far from the Game of Thrones and political intrigues, far to the north, in the land where winter seems never to die, a border cuts the continent in two, the Wall. The Night's Watch has been its guardian for thousands of years, protecting the realm at all costs from wildling attacks and other menaces from beyond. The danger is constant, the cold is bitter, and death is sweet for those who fall. At times, even the bravest warriors give up and attempt to escape this white purgatory. You were the one he'd sent, Mors. Damned moment. It had to be you. It's over, old brother. All your attempts are in vain. You know I'll end up taking you to Castle Black, dead or alive. Why not let me get away for old times' sake? After all, we're brothers. You betrayed us by attempting to escape, my friend. My duty is to bring you back. You know there's only one way to leave the Night's Watch. I'm sorry, Mors. You leave me no choice. choosing friends. One night here, and you'd already bashed in three of our brother's skulls. I wasn't the only one there, if I remember rightly. <laughs> That's me. I never think of the consequences. All I do is give. Look at this, boys. Mors finally brought back that worm, Gorol. Well done. Some men bet against you, but I wager you'd make it. It must have been quite a hunt. Gorol knows how to cover his tracks and is now bad for the sword. I've known you for 15 years, but I still had just a shred of hope that I'd give you and your damn dog a slip. I would have hated getting caught by a little shit like our friend here. Hold your tongue, deserter! That's not what your mother said last night. I'll teach you about respect, dog! Enough! I forbid you to touch him. You would not have had the slightest chance against him, blade in hand. Tell me, where is Mormont? The Lord Commander is in front of the Commander's Keep with the new recruits. They've just sworn their oaths. So they are finally sworn brothers of the Night's Watch. Fools. No, 
Now you can teach them a little lesson. Right, Mars? Mars! You brought this traitor back. I knew I could count on you. I did what I had to, Lord Commander. Your modesty does you honor. Recruits, listen to me. Moors here is our best tracker. Now that you are sworn brothers of the Night's Watch, he will mold you into rangers. He has just returned from a very delicate mission. Tracking down Gorals, who took the cowardly route and deserted. In the name of the Night's Watch, I thank you, Moors. I know how hard it must have been for you to hunt down a friend. I swore an oath to the Watch. If we go back on our word and our mission, then we are nothing. If only all my men spoke like that. Speaking of new brothers, I see only four of them. Where is the fifth? Someone attacked him last night. He's been looked after by Maester Eamon as we speak. One of our brothers has broken his vows in the most sordid manner. That traitor then beat the poor boy and left him in the snow more dead than alive. Damn it. I swear I'll skin the culprit alive. Alas, we do not know if the boy will recognize his assailant, or even if he is to survive. Too bad. The brat certainly was a pretty boy, soft as a virgin. What a pity I never managed to corner him. True to your reputation, Gorold, eh? You know me. Always try to get a laugh. Silence, traitor. Each time I pass judgment on a deserter, I feel the bitterness of failure. It is my duty, as Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, to make true brothers of you. This morning, you were strangers. Now, you have all sworn to honor our oath. Some come to us as knights, carrying out their duties, and some as criminals, forced to choose between the noose and the wall. Once you take the black, your past is dead. You must wash away your former loyalties, forget your family and friends. They cease to exist. Such is the strength of our oath. No wife, no children, no lands. All that matters is defending the war and the realm. We are your only home. We are your duty. We are your new family, the only one that matters now. More than 8,000 years ago, humanity itself was nearly lost during the long night. Our predecessors then built the wall that you see behind us. This massive wall of ice is 700 feet high and divides the continent in half. It protects the realm of the Seven Kingdoms from threats beyond the wall. Defending it is our purpose, our duty. The Night's Watch has unfailingly carried out this mission for centuries, generation after generation. Wildlings, cold, wind, and dishonor. Those are your enemies, even in the midst of a summer such as this one. We have all taken our vows before the gods, whichever gods they are. If you betray your brothers, if you break this sacred oath. Throughout the seven kingdoms of Westeros, you will be met with one punishment. Death. Pass the sentence and get this over with.
Goros was a brother of the Night's Watch for almost 15 years, but that bears no relevance. He will be executed for desertion. Beyond our mission, we no longer exist. Any last words, deserter? After all my years spent here, I've forgotten what warmth is. The cold has stolen the very memory. Go ahead and smile at the sight of me, the wretched deserter. But you may do the same one day. You won't be able to take it any longer, and you'll do anything just to live again. I tried my luck, and I failed. Come on, Mors. And do it well. Goodbye, old brother. Goodbye, old friend. I'll see you on the other side. Take Ronit, Poddy, Seltagar, and Patrick, and put together a patrol. Make sure they smell a little less like summer before winter comes. Right. Listen, since I need to teach you to survive at the wall, let's see what you're worth with a blade in your hand. Gather in the exercise yard. Kragan, what happened here? The butcher's here? <laughs> you're too late. There are wildlings everywhere. I killed a few, but there are too many. Two of them. Moors. They're beasts, I tell you. I did what I could do to save my lads by luring some of the bastards to me. Why did your men go? I sent them to try their luck. Crossing the bridge. Get out of here. <clears throat> if, if you want to live, Moors. of trash. A raper like you doesn't deserve to die this well. The scavengers will take care of him. And those of all the wildlings he killed. Not bad at all. When your turn comes, do as he did and take as many with you as you can. We'll try to remember that, sir. We must leave, Sir Mors. We don't have a chance. Remember what's happened to Gorold's body. If I must die, at least I'll plant my dagger in my killer's eye. I hope that it will be so, Ronit. Kragan was carrying the keys to the fort. Suffering. You'll give in either way. 
Everyone talks eventually. It's true! Gorn planned it all! We came through the mountain passes to the west. We attacked several villages, but your men at Shadow Tower sent that demon of Parthand upon us. Instead of going back the way we came, we traveled east. We gained some ground, but that bastard's patrol was still on our heels. Gorn led us here, because he knew that the gate of the wall at Icemark had been closed in haste. He always knows everything. We've been scratching at the wall ever since, digging like madmen in our quest to return home. You're still lying. I beg you, stop! Please! No! May the mother take you into her arms. Why the seven? Silence! 